Hello everyone, I'm Pikatik, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. We're, before we head into Nara Castle, uh, I've realized I have a skill point to spend. No attribute points, no weapon points, I must have just forgotten this at my last level up. However, I really have no idea what to put it in, so I thought I'd just discuss on camera. I was going to do this off camera and just do it and forget about it, not mention it, but... I'm really not sure what to do, so I thought I'd discuss my, uh, my, my thought patterns. So, at the moment, we are locked into having no more than 64 people in our company. However, we have 45, and it's already costing us $1,000 a week, and I don't know if we can keep up that kind of money. So, I don't think it's worth putting it into leadership, which, in fact, I can't do anyway, but that's sort of where I was thinking. Uh, we could do prisoner management. If we're going to get into more fights, it'd be nice to take more prisoners and sell them. It's a good, for, you know, it's a good steady income uh, if, you know, if you're fighting a lot. So there's that. Inventory management means I can get more stuff. So big battles, I can sort of take on more of their loot and sell it, uh, which would be kind of nice. First aid, uh, that'd be kind of helpful. Can't get train or looting, which are sort of two very, very useful things. I could get Pathfinding, Webmaster Shield, can't get any of that. Athletics, I could put up, but I don't really run around, so it's not that useful. Iron Flesh would give me more health, which is probably a good thing at this point. I mean, I've got pretty decent armor. So I guess, really, it's just... I'd say at this point, it's between Iron Flesh, Inventory Management, and... Prisoner management, I'd say. Hmm, maybe. I think I think I'm gonna go with Iron Flesh for now. We'll do that. We'll save that, and then the next couple times we can uh maybe look into some of the other ones. So why was I coming here? I I don't remember. I do not remember why it's been a while since I've recorded uh, Mountain Blade Warband. I did about three episodes in advance, so it has been quite some time. Let's find out. Is this... It's not that he had any tasks or something. But he does need me to get someone back. Hmm. Let's see. Get him out of prison. This is normally a very, very difficult quest. I've never broken someone out of prison before. So we'll, we'll have to try. I'm thinking of breaking into the prison. Finding Dial and fighting my way out. Or I'm thinking of taking Tilbor Castle by storm. I think this is going to be my best bet. This is going to be a little bit hard. I don't really have the troops for it. Maybe he'll help me though. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see what he says about this. One could enter Tilbo Tassel either in disguise or openly, then walk up to the prison guard and try to take the keys by force. However, getting out may be difficult. The garrison may be slow to react, but even so, you're likely to find yourself fighting half a dozen or more of the enemy at once with limited space in which to remove a maneuver. If you can fight your way past them, though, you can probably get out. Hmm. Do you have any connections in the villages near Tilbo Tassel? I could do that. Let's see. Where is... Where is Tilbo Castle? Tilbo? Tilbo. Tilbo. So, what you can do is you can set a fire. Uh, is it down here somewhere? You can set a fire in the villages nearby. And, uh... And the, the, it sort of removes half of their people and also acts as a, um... As a distraction. So, let's head on over to... Uh, Ted Samesh is currently being raided, which is gonna mean I can't actually go in there. So there's that problem. Hmm. See, normally what I'd do is I'd go in and I would, uh, ask them to set a fire, and da 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 that'd be great. Um, but with it being raided, I can't actually get in. But it might actually prove, you know enough of a uh, a distraction anyway let's disguise how, how many people are here actually 176 with 61 of them being footmen and 22 man at arms yeah that is not something that I can fight so let's 
Let's sneak in and take a walk around the courtyard. I am in rags with a pole arm. Like, that's, that's it. Who are you? Are you the garrison? You are the prison guard. So, let's have a chat with you. Permission from the Lord. Uh... Okay, so managed to bribe our way in. That's fine. That's 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 lovely. Let's uh let's have a chat with the Yarl. I think you defeated Yarl Gullet, and ever since I've been anxious to cross swords with you. Well, I've come to break you out, so let's not be doing any fighting. Uh I'll need to get the keys away from the guard. Hmm. That's uh that's gonna be a little bit difficult when all I have is a pole arm. But you know, let's uh Let's try it. Let's see what happens. I am probably going to lose everything here. Um, but, you know. That's... Oh. Apparently, y'all... Hmm. Yes, give me... Give me the keys. Let's... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. And... And arrows being shot at me. This is... This is not going to go well, but... Um, oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. And there's a bloody knight, too. Ah, okay. Uh, and I'm sorry, my Xbox controller is currently bouncing around on my computer. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, you are quickly surrounded by guards who take away your weapons with curses and insults. They throw you into the dungeon. Oh, so we just have to wait here. And I do believe in doing this, I lose my entire army. Oh, no. Total experience gained through training. 32. Hmm. Okay. I managed to keep everyone, which is, is nice. But I did not manage to break anyone out. So, uh, there is that slight problem. Uh, let's... Uh... Let's see if we can't get some people. And I, I'm going to try and take on Tilbo Castle. That's that's the idea. Who are these guys? Kingdom of Vegas. Let's... Woo! Look at these guys. Let's let's get on with these. Uh, do you have any tasks? There are some sea raiders around. I can do that job. But no, I was hoping... Hoping to ask what you are actually doing. I wish to ask you something. What are you and your men doing? Besieging Durham. Uh, unfortunately, none of these guys are going to... I don't think I'm going to be able to join with the Vegas, though. It could be fun. Um, do you have any tasks for me? No. Okay, I don't, I don't think these guys are going to ask me for any help, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, destroy... Oh, rescue or ransom a prisoner? I should rescue y'all... Yeah, yeah. Destroy bandit lair. Report back to... So I'm assuming that's the same one that's up there. Let's let's go and do that because I've got 30 days to do that. So that's that's plenty of time. Let's head on up here, take out the Sea Raider landing, which will give me plenty of sort of loot, which means plenty of money, which means I can go and buy some new gear or get some more people uh, to join me before going back and raiding, well, raiding, sieging Tilbo Castle. I am currently employed by the Nords. That's why they wouldn't get me. I forgot I was employed by the Nords. Ah. Okay, so I am going to have to go and fight some of the Nord battles. Which is fine. I can I can do that. Who are the Nords at war with? Uh, Nords, Nords, Nords. Nords are at war with the Kingdom of Swadia. And the Vegas are going to... We're going to lose our troops in uh, 12 days. So... I better get, this, better get this done quickly, otherwise I will run into a little bit of trouble. So, I guess then, going back and sieging Tilbo Castle is not actually going to be the worst idea in the world. And in fact, I might even be able to get some Nords to help me with it. Oh. Never mind. He, uh, he got released from captivity. I still want to go back and uh, raid Tilbo Castle. Uh, I just won't be doing it for the quest. But it does seem like quite the fun little challenge. We have some sea raiders over here. 
who are not going to be able to, to catch up to. I never can. I only travel 5.5. Hmm. But that's okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to find this Sea Raider landing nice and quickly. Because if I can't, I will run into issues. And also, I am very, very nervous about the fact that 5.0 and 5.5, yes, I will actually catch them. I'm very nervous about the fact that the truce with the Vegas is going to expire shortly. And I am right in the thick of their territory. So, yeah, not, not, not an ideal situation. Come on. I can catch him. We'll run this man down, which is taking us away from the landing. But I just, I just want a good fight. I want to give you guys a good, decent fight. I'll drink from your skull. Actually, mate, you won't. I'm going to charge you. And, oh, yes. Uh, everyone, just hold this position, please. Everyone hold up here. Because, well, 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 well. This here is ideal. Let's get our archers here. How many archers do we have? None? Really? Damn it. Uh, let's see if I can get infantry here, cavalry here. And this is, this is a very precarious slope. This is, this is not fun. Like, it gives us a huge advantage, but boy, oh boy, is that a slope. Who would wage a war or a battle from this position? Like, seriously, who in their right mind would do something like that? Uh, let's get our cavalry over this way a bit. Let's go cavalry. Let's get the cavalry out there. I'm going to send the, actually, this way, and then we're going to say, charge. And then we're going to send the infantry in. Now that they're sort of there. Cavalry, actually, I want to just make sure that they're not trying to ride up a hill. Uh, because at the moment, yeah, if they, if they have to ride uphill, they're going to get slaughtered. Going downhill, we have quite the advantage. Going uphill, we will die miserably. So, if we can bring this this fight down onto the ground, that would be fantastic. Infantry, hold this position as well. Alright, so that has turned their forces now, which is, is very nice. Let's get our cavalry to charge real quick. Just to at least turn them around and face the enemy. Oh, see what I mean about going uphill? It becomes very, very, very difficult. If I could even get one kill, that would be nice. Uh, cavalry, back back to your position. You're going uphill a little too much. I don't like it. Uh, that is one guy killed by me, which is, is very nice. Doing very little damage here. Very, very little. Here, uh, all, everyone just charge, eh? Uh, arch, infantry, charge. Because at the moment, you're just standing there doing nothing. It wasn't the most well-thought-out battle plan, but it was also not the most well-thought-out battle location uh, with all these bloody mountains around us. We did win, though, and didn't lose a single person, which is nice. Uh, and we do have a bunch of stuff that we can go ahead and steal and see what I mean we've got like nothing here we're also very very low on food so let's quickly head into Jayak and we'll buy some food off of these guys uh, it's infested by mountain bandits we can take the mountain bandits let's fight them we'll give ourselves a battle again uh, which is nice let's come on up the hill Oy, right in our face uh, cavalry let's Hmm. I kind of want to tell my cavalry to dismount simply because this is sort of a tight, tight area. So cavalry, is it formation? Yes. Dismount. Dismount for me. And then I want my infantry to hold here. My cavalry to hold here as well. Sorry. 
infantry, hold. Cavalry, hold. That should do us, because that's a nice central location. Like, nothing... Nothing is gonna go wrong from that location. Who are these? Come on, guys. Hold that position. Oops. That was that was the C key. We open up the, the menu there. That is a win. That was a bit of a pathetic battle there. Uh, but it doesn't mean that they're gonna like us. Um, refuse. I don't want... I don't want what they've got. It's not going to be anything anyway. So let's do that. Uh, let's buy some supplies. No food. Really? Huh. I'm really kind of running low on the whole food thing. So, you know, it'd be nice. Uh, let's talk to you. Let's level up Mafeld really quickly. Let's give her a point in strength. A point to Iron Flesh because she always gets knocked out. And her one-handed points need to go up. That's fantastic. Man-at-arms becomes a knight. Hired blade. Uh, three man-at-arms and a footman. Lovely. Hopefully, Albert Castle has some food for us. I'm not sure if... No, you can't do it there. Hmm. We're going to have to head into Rivachig before our, uh, our one piece of bread uh, disappears. So... Let's quickly head on over to Riverchig, where we'll also sell all of our goods, uh, and then we'll hit the Sea Raiders landing. Because at the moment, we've got no room for any loot that we steal from them. So, yeah, it would not be ideal to head into uh, into the Sea Raiders landing right now, because half of the point of fighting Sea Raiders is getting very, very nice loot, which you can sell on later. But anyway, guys, I am going to end the episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. And also, don't forget to hit, it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, stuttering over my words. And I'll see you in the next one.